Hey, I'm Andy. This is Diablo Immortal on the PC. I know there's a mobile version. Figured it must, if it's on the PC, I want to just figure this might as well try it on PC as well. So, yeah, this for a mobile game, they probably upgraded the graphics or something because when I went to install this, this was 27 gigabytes. <laughs> and for a mobile game, that just seems out there, but we'll see how things go. Yeah, we'll just dive right into this. I do know there is the a monetization scheme that is very, very bad. I mean, like, it's pretty bad, so uh, that might push people away, but I just want to try this. I'm not going to spend anything on it other than my time, but see, we'll see how good this is. Oh, I mean, I guess they upgraded the graphics for the PC version, so... There's that. <laughs> maybe, maybe that's why it was 27 gigabytes. I, I don't know how long, how big it is on mobile. I haven't tried it on mobile yet. So we got Barbarian, Wizard, Demon Hunter, Monk, Crusader, and Necromancer. So the Diablo 3 classes. I mean, they look pretty cool. I don't know which one I should do. I kind of, I kind of want to do the Demon Hunter. Just because that was my first character in... Diablo 3 as well. But the, the wizard seemed... I don't know if I played the wizard more later on in Diablo 3, but let, let's just go with the Demon Hunter just for... just for consistency. Alright. Only three options, me. Yeah, let's go with this one. Oh, oh, we can customize some more. Okay. I mean, it, it's nice that they have some... customization options, but I don't know how... I don't, I don't know how we'll be seeing it in game other than like the hairstyle. <laughs> so let's stick with, let's just stick with this one. Seems cool. I right, keep that because we're, we're not going to see it in detail in the game. So it's nice that they have it, but it is what it is. <laughs> we can't even select our hair. Or yeah, we can. It's right here. Custom color. Let's go with... Yeah, let's go with this. Green. <laughs> okay. Change the length. No. No, let's, yeah, let's just go next. Alright. I hope this isn't taken. Oops. Alright. Did I just get an achievement for creating a character? <laughs> Is it the dock for Wortham? God, that whole village has gone to hell. You sure I can't take you someplace else? So the the only thing that I know that is pay to win is in PvP. I know there's like pay to advance faster in PvE, which is in a sense, but. Which is, in a sense, pay to win to a degree, but not to the point where PvP is, so... Well, we'll see. Uh, I see that there's, like, auto... Or it, it tells you where to go with, like, the footprints. So investigate the armored building. Or abandoned building. <laughs> Alright, continue on the path. So it, it plays just like Diablo 3. Or it, it plays just like Diablo. <laughs> It's just, it has the mobile... Oh geez. Push two enemies back. Push, okay. No, I right click? No. So if you hold down shift and then... Uh, so it plays just like the elbow. Just holding down shift and then left click will also attack. Three. So, yeah, it's basically just like Diablo without mana. <laughs> I keep wanting to right click though, but... Yeah, it's it's for mobile. It is what it is. I assume the graphics are not as detailed in mobile. I could, I could totally be totally wrong though. <laughs> hey, I leveled up. What a glorious feeling. It's very... Uh, like this is just the beginning, but it feels very like narrow. Where they do not 
Like, Diablo has been known for the open maps. That is ugly. <laughs> Kill the putrid desecrator. Oh, you can't push them back. Okay. Now, obviously, because like it is meant for mobile, or maybe it's because of the open beta that run, uh, the font is very readable, which is a good thing. Like you want, you want accessibility. <laughs> All right. Let's get rid of it. Oh yeah, we can't push. All right. Experience glow. We got rain of vengeance. Alright, so we do have, like, an inventory. We have armor sets, like, in the actual game. Let's see, equip. I don't know what destroying gives you. So, as you can see, there is three types of currency. I don't know which one is the paid one. And we got a new skill. So, yeah, it, since this is, like, a port from the mobile... It's still going to say, like, tap, even though we're playing on the computer. Alright, equip. So we can only have four skills equipped. And we're going to get a lot more. Alright. Continue on the path. Yeah, this is very railroady for for now. I don't know how open it will be later on, but... Oh, it seems pretty open. Shall open our Lord's path. Okay. Talk to the guard. You there. What's your purpose, stranger? I received word that Wortham had been attacked. The mayor requisitioned aid. What can I do to help? The mayor? Akarat bless that man's soul. Uh, those cultists you just cast through attacked the town and dragged our people towards the caves in the west. You here to aid us? Then help my it just a thought came to my mind. It's just like it's being like those gotcha games with uh, the visual novel like aspects of it. Like I, I would have never thought a Diablo game would have like boxes of text. <laughs> Usually, like it would when they're speaking, it would have like the the scrolling text boxes above them, but. Yeah, never, never like a visual null style. I got a direwolf. Army attacks charge up your ultimate skill. So, will we get like potions in this game as well? Or, or is it just like a heal over time type of deal? Alright, let's equip. Alright. Okay, I leveled up. Also, don't I feel like the armor or the drops are character based? I did not know I can wear chainmail. It's been a while since I played a Diablo game. The last one I played was I believe was the Diablo 2 remake, remaster, whatever you want to call that. All right, what is the oh. Okay. Oh jeez, the webs. Alright. Set is better by 42 score. Oh no, I can do a wheel, that's right. <laughs> Demon hunters can do a wheel, but it still feels narrow for some reason. Like the, the maps aren't open, but I don't remember how open the original I, I know some maps were open but some were more maze like but oh so there is a health potion okay it just didn't tell me until my health was low <laughs> all right let's use a health potion okay let's wear that so it, it seems like the armor i wear Okay, so I thought I thought it was just the inventory only where my appearance will change, but it seems like it, it changes on like in the actual gameplay, which is nice. I do like the customization. Alright. 
Oh, they're fully charged. Okay. Oh, I shoot. I shoot in a in a cone with my with my ultimate. Okay. I didn't realize that. I thought I thought I was gonna do the spinny move, but let's do. Yeah, I thought I was gonna do the spinny move, but I guess not. <laughs> Stake thrower. Okay. Equip. I mean, as as a someone getting into the game, like this as a tutorial seems fine. Like, I've played games that have um, tutorials that are mandatory, but they don't really teach you. It's just like click here, click here, go there, go there. So, this one actually lets you do the things <laughs> of like guiding you and showing you the basics. Although, I, I mean, the other games I've played are also in a different genre, but <laughs> it, it is what it is. So. All right, uh, I think I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. The health glow, get all this. I could get used to that. All right, equip the armor. So what do we get when we destroy stuff? He killed them. Nothing. He killed them all. So maybe I should just NPC them. I might actually play more right on the stream, them. maybe. Or maybe more videos, I'm not sure. I just want to see, like, how far I can get uh, playing this completely free without feeling like there's a wall, so. Maybe I'll just play it on my own time. Maybe do more videos, I'm not sure. But I do know that if you don't like the monetization, then, yeah, feel free to... <laughs> to, I I don't. I mean, I I get why people won't play it and why people dislike it. I I'm going the wrong way. I should have interacted with the portal. <laughs> why why did I just walk back? Because it feels like, oh that, I've heard that the monetization is very deceptive. But, a lot of. At least in the gotcha world, it's very deceptive as well, so. We're at Wortham. Oh, the waypoints, yeah, duh. You know, I didn't thank you properly for Services. I'm salvage. Yeah, I probably should have saved it for salvage instead of just destroying them. We got scrap, just like in Diablo. Okay. Oh, someone, an enemy waypointed. <laughs> or, I guess, a friendly that is turning into an enemy. Scarn. Weep and despair for the sin of your existence. I still don't know how large was Diablo 3. I feel like it wasn't. 27 gigabytes. It, it, actually, it just might be more, but... Nothing remains but char. Uh, it's, it's been a while, so it, the size probably increased. But... Yeah, I'm not I'm not sure. So we got... What's this? Oh, that, that's the settings. Okay. This, and this is the warp town portal. So, yeah, this is basically like Diablo 3, but very, very simplified. <laughs> like, like the map is very restrictive but i guess it's to fit the i guess it's, it's to, oh there's director kane it, it's to fit the mobile capacity or the restrictions ah, hello friend well, i've heard that phrase before quite a difficult time as you can plainly see the townsfolk are ill at ease but we should be safe enough here for the moment. Okay. My name is Deckard Kane. I'm a bit of a traveling scholar, one might say. Lyra here mentioned you saved Corin from the cultists before that sudden commotion in the square. 
Yes. Please, <laughs> tell me everything. It seems dark forces have set their eyes upon Wortham. The cultist leader mentioned the Lord of Damnation, said he was seeking some prize. That face wreathed in flame could have only been his. Lord of Damnation. Things are far worse than I imagined. The forces of hell are seeking a shard of the world stone, an artifact with the power to create entire realities. Five years ago, the demon lord Bale nearly brought all of humanity under his thrall using that stone. If the demons were to obtain even a shard of it, the result would be catastrophic. We cannot allow that to happen. Oh, no, no, we can't. <laughs> Cain, the cultists are attacking the Western Gate. We need help holding them back. Okay. Yeah, this is basically DL with resimplified. That based off like the first fifteen minutes. Like that the map area is simplified. The combat is kind of simplified because uh, like the potion and all that stuff is Automatic or not automatic, but already given to you. Don't worry about the town. Or was it was it was it always given to you in Diablo 3? I I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I know you can have multiple types, but you can only have like one You can only have like the one potion. But that it can be like a different rarity of a potion. But yeah, it's it's been a while since I played Diablo 3 proper, so my memory is a little bit hazy. <laughs> oh, wood wraith. So I wonder how early we can access like the, the cash shop. Ooh. Do I have a dodge? Breaches. Okay, let's swear. I wish there was like an auto equip. Oh, I'm being attacked. Okay. So much like the other. And the other games going into your inventory doesn't pause. <laughs> I don't know why it would. Oh, why are we blocked? Oh, there's like a, a fog. Weird, but okay. All right. Dropping a lot of gold. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for. Maybe there's gonna be a gambling mechanic. I don't know. Ooh, blue. Our first blue spiders, or our first blue enemies. <laughs> Alright, push them back. Alright, our first blue item. Is there something here? No. So, I mean, the map is starting to open up, which is pretty cool. Uh, at first I said it was just narrow and railroady but it's starting to open up the the more you play all right so, oh i shot way too hard <laughs> all right we got that we're level eight already got the new skill strafe let's equip it oh strafe is the circle one okay <laughs> spin rapidly while shooting in all directions Okay, so we do get uh, another type of primary attack at level 34. And I guess like the cash up and all that stuff is locked for now because I technically we're still in the, in the tutorial. So it is what it is. I guess once I finish here, I'll probably end it for this video. Oh, yeah, it plays fine. I assume it plays fine on mobile as well i don't know how accessible it is in terms of the specs you need to play for the mobile version because like i said i'm playing this on the pc so but also i wonder 
like the the base game has to be less in size for the mobile version, right? But I wonder if it is less in size, is there an option to is is there an option to upgrade to like the 27 gigabyte version if your phone has that much space available? Cuz I know my phone when it installs for some reason it doesn't install into the SD card so it has to use the main the shard is ours. it has and to use the main memory so finished. I'm not sure it has that much space free so yeah it is what it is all right we're at level nine Escara let's do this let's do this oh you have to hold it okay Okay. Okay. Oh, I can. Oh, they explode. Alright. R to ultimate. I don't know if that. I don't know if that will help me, but since it was so close to death. <laughs> Oh, it looks like an eye. Does it? Are, are we going to hell already? Oh, is that scarred? Oh, no, it doesn't. Maybe it is. It's our boss, though. Oh, I feel like the, the ultimate timer is already ran out by now. <laughs> If it continued during the cinematic. Oh, it's Ifris the Destroyer. Okay. Yep, our ultimate timer is... is gone. <laughs> it's not too bad. Like we're, we're taking damage, but... Obviously, we're not taking... too much damage. Okay, let's hold on to this. Okay, so like instead of the mana, we just have like cooldown timers and ch charge timers. So it's an alternate way of playing, I guess. Like, it, it seems solid. It's not buggy, as of my experience. It might be buggy to some people. But yeah, it, it, it's fine. <laughs> but like I said, I wonder when. The gem store, the, the cash shop will be open. Alright. No yellow though. Multi shot rank 3. Okay. Chainmail. We're having a lot of things. That's equip. Yeah, I wish there was an equip all though, which. Eh, it is what it is. There's some more inventory. We already got a diamond. Oh, resurrection. No, I thought that was a diamond. Okay. Examine the world stone shard. Seems safe to touch. <laughs> the shard of the world stone. It smells of demon kind. Okay. I guess we enter the portal. Cain will know what to do with it. Yeah, we'll just give it to Cain. Oh, we're so we're so close to actually finishing the quest too, so maybe we'll just play it until then. Maybe this is the final step. What you've accomplished is miraculous, my friend. To face such foes and live to tell the tale. Simply astounding. Okay. We were lucky I arrived in time. The cultists were summoning. Demons. Also, yeah, it wasn't Scar. Their leader called out to the Lord of Damnation, a demon named Scarn. Scarn. I have never heard of this name before. Me neither. As far as I know, there is no demon lord of damnation. <laughs> Most troubling. Okay. Indeed. And there's the matter of what we do with a shard. This sort of power does not belong in mortal hands. On that, we agree. 
You see, I did not come to Wortham by chance, my friend. A Herodric ritual allowed me to divine the location of several world stone shards. Several, you say? One was here in Wortham. The other lies somewhere in the nearby cemetery oh, two? of Ashwald. Just two? I came here hoping to obtain the shards and destroy them if possible. Is it, is it like the uh, infinity infinity stones thing where you need all of them and destroy, <laughs> or is it's just like one still bad? What? Oh. Not alarmed, my old friend, for these I recognize that name. To you with an urgent request. My apprentice Lethus, through foul means, acquired the <laughs> shard of the world. How convenient. In her pursuit of power, she has brought ruin upon Ashwold. The dead rise from their graves, and the balance teeters on the brink of disruption. Much like I, you cannot have forgotten the significance of that stone, or the sacrifice it took to end its threat. So I beg of you to lend your aid, however you can. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Alright. So I guess this thing is like sparkling for just because it wants to sparkle. Darkness is spreading once again. And it seems I must ask the impossible of you. Will you help me collect these corrupted shards and save our world from oblivion? I mean, do I have a choice? <laughs> when I hunt again the night a pack of demons tore my family apart. No one else should ever bear such terrible loss. If destroying these stones of yours prevents more suffering, let that be my vengeance. Okay. From the depths of my heart, thank you, friend. Before you leave, Ooh, I have a few gifts few for gifts. you. The first of which lies here on the altar. While it may be simple, I mean, a good map is we have a mini map already. Importance. It will surely aid you oh, I wonder how big travels. like the entire game is though in terms of in, like in terms of acts and areas. The world map. Or it's just like a hodgepodge of just areas that we can just warp to. <laughs> to protect it, you must cross any lands where forgotten evils linger okay yet you must go without fear into the heart of the unknown this burden falls to us you you mean me <laughs> to fight the darkness to ensure our home survival for a new evil covets the world stone's power if a shard falls into hell's clutches, our world will burn. Okay, so even one is bad. <laughs> All right. Here, this portal scroll has been specially attuned. Once you have reclaimed the world stone shard from Ashwold, you can use that scroll to open a portal to Westmarch. There, we will find a means to destroy Ooh. the shards forever. Until the next game. <laughs> Very well. I will meet you as soon as I am able. Be cautious on your journey to Ashwald, my friend. Alright, we finished. So tap to open the zoom map. Okay. World map. Oh, so it's like... It's like an MMORPG where the the map tells you the level, the level, uh, not, not, it's not restricted, but level suggestions. So there's a level 40 to 45, and then all the way over here is like 20 to 36. Can we zoom out? I don't think I can zoom out. Like, it seems like a small area, but like I said, I haven't played this, so it, it might be very large. <laughs> 
All right, exit the chapel and head to Ashworld. We're already at 100% though. Be not fearless, for those without fear are those who have nothing precious to hold on to. Challenge fear, overcome it, but deny it at your peril. Okay. Within our hearts exists an empty. I think the only Zacharum I know of is from Maple Story. <laughs> It. And I still haven't beaten Through that boss. Or I guess can ones he, in a it's, it's, not, it's not something you can solo at darkness. the time that I played. Okay. All right, we we finished the tutorial. Continue on for more glory and rewards. Okay. Oh, so now we're actually in like the world, and everything is unlocked now, all at once. All right. Okay, we're level eleven. I think this is like a battle pass. Okay, there's also achievements coming soon. Okay, so the the, the thing I heard earlier wasn't the achievements. All right, so all of this is unlocked. Let's check the shop. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> now let's claim at least. I'm not going to spend money in this, but I will claim the free stuff, because it is free, and I am not spending anything for it. So, yeah. So let's see. 800% extra value, beginner's pack, just for a dollar. So we got a cosmetic weapon. I assume is... I assume it's like... Class, uh, it changes depending on your class, how it looks. I do not want to buy it. <laughs> so 60 gems. It, is, it says it's 800% value, but you only get 60 gems and a cosmetic. So I guess it really depends on how much the cosmetics are. So there, there's a collector's one too. Oh, that looks pretty, I mean, it, looks, it does look cool, the Diablo 2 one. But, I mean, you, you can't buy... You, you can't buy like just a weapon, so how can you say it's like a 800% value? Because like once, like we have, it gives you 60 gems, but um, if you look here, uh, right here, you get 600 for $10. So I get how, like, I don't know how is an 800% extra value. Like, for the same price, you're getting the same amount of, like, ratio-wise, you're getting the same amount of gem or orbs. I, I'm, I keep calling them gems. I don't know what the silver one is, too, though. So, you're, you're basically paying the same amount of orbs ratio-wise, because 600 to $10 is the same as 60 to $1, so... You're getting the skin for free, and then I guess they're assuming the... Plus eight hundred percent is coming from the just the skin. That just that that just seems sketchy. <laughs> so yeah, uh, and you can buy all these things with gems, hundred hundred each. But uh, as you can, see, I mean, you, you can't buy it in multiples of hundreds. You just just not the cheapest one. But oh, platinum. What is platinum? Platinum costs. Orbs, and conveniently, I mean, unless you're shooting for just the 500 ones or the lower ones, you can't really buy one of this to cover one of this. Uh, very bad, but like I said, it it's mainly in PvP where it matters, in PvE... It's pay to advance really quickly, which is still bad, depending on how you do it, but yeah, it is what it is. Like I said, I might stream this, I might just do more videos of this, but this is like my first 30 some minutes of Diablo Immortal. We finished the tutorial and we got into the open world and everything got unlocked and the beginner's pack is not extra value. <laughs> So yeah, it is what it is. So hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, thank you for watching and have a nice day.